compare the pass of numbers two to the power of three hundred and fifty three and five to the power of one hundred and fifty one three to the power of three hundred and twenty one and four to the power of two hundred and fifty seven. This video contains the following sections. Reading the problem carefully and understanding it. Developing a plan to solve it. Solving the problem. Thinking about it further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Near the end of the video, there's an additional question which can be solved. Using a similar approach to that used for solving the specific problem. If you find these helpful, please subscribe to the channel for notification of new videos by pressing the video watermark in the right hand corner of the video player. The bases are different and the indices are different for both pairs of numbers. There are no common factors for the basis of the numbers for both pairs of numbers. There are no common factors for the indices of the numbers for both pairs of numbers. We can't compare directly a pair of numbers if their bases are different and their indices are different. If we can't convert to the same basis, at least we can convert to similar bases for a pair of numbers. For example, for comparing 2 to the power of 353 and 5 to the power of 151. We can find M and N such that 2 to the power of M is approximately equal to 5 to the power of N. Then convert the original numbers to new numbers with a base 2 to the power of m or 5 to the power of n. Find m and n such that 2 to the power of m is approximately equal to 5 to the power of m. For powers of 2, we know that 2 to the power of 0 equals 1. 2 to the power of 1 equals 2. 2 to the power of 2 equals 4, and so on. For powers of 5, we know that 5 to the power of 0 equals 1. 5 to the power of 1 equals 5, and so on. We notice that 2 to the power of 7 equals 128, which is very similar to 5 to the power of 3, which is 125 because 2 to the power of 7 equals 128. 5 cubed equals 125. So M equals 7, N equals 3 in this case. 
So we want to convert two to the power of 353 to a number with two to the power of seven as the base. Similarly, we want to convert five to the power of 151 to a number with five cubed as the base. We can write two to the power of 353 as two to the power of seven times 50 plus three. Applying the product of powers rule, which is a to the power of i times a to the power of j equals a to the power of i plus j. We can then write two to the power of seven times 50 times two to the power of three. The power of a power rule says a to the power of i all to the power of j equals a to the power of ij. Applying this rule, we can then write two to the power of seven all to the power of 50 times eight which is equal to 128 to the power of 50 times eight. Five to the power of 151 can be written as five to the power of three times 50 plus one, which is equal to five to the power of three times 50 times five. Which can be written as five cubed all to the power of 50 times five, which is equal to 125 to the power of 50 times five. Because 128 is greater than 125, eight is greater than five. So two to the power of 353 is greater than five to the power of 151. Now compare three to the power of 321 and four to the power of 257. Find M and N such that three to the power of M is approximately equal to four to the power of N. For powers of three, we know that three to the power of zero equals one, three to the power of one equals three, three to the power of two equals nine, and so on. For powers of four, we know that four to the power of zero equals one, four to the power of one equals four, Four to the power of two equals 16, and so on. We notice that three to the power of five equals 243, which is very similar to four to the power of four, which is equal to 256, because Three to the power of five equals 243. Four to the power of four equals 256. 
So m equals 5, n equals 4 in this case. So we want to convert 3 to the power of 321 to a number with 3 to the power of 5 as the base. Similarly, we want to convert 4 to the power of 257 to a number with 4 to the power of 4 as the base. We can write 3 to the power of 321 as 3 to the power of 5 times 64 plus 1. The product of powers rule says a to the power of i times a to the power of j equals a to the power of i plus j. Applying this rule, we can then write 3 to the power of 5 times 64 times 3. The power of a power rule says a to the power of i all to the power of j equals a to the power of ij. Applying this rule, we can then write 3 to the power of 5 all to the power of 64 times 3, which is equal to 3 times 243 to the power of 64. 4 to the power of 257 can be written as 4 to the power of 4 times 64 plus 1, which can be written as 4 to the power of 4 times 64 times 4, which can be written as 4 to the power of 4, all to the power of 64 times 4, which is equal to 4 times 256 to the power of 64, because 256 is greater than 243. 4 is greater than 3. So 4 to the power of 257 is greater than 3 to the power of 321. Think about the thought process for the previous question further and try to apply the approach to other problems, such as this one. Compare the numbers 2 to the power of 234 and 5 to the power of 100. You can write your answers in the comments section if you like. Can you think of other problems that can be solved using a similar approach? Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.